you stupid? Huh? I'll be dead. What did you do that for? So, um, Miss Genevieve and um, Miss Stephanie, I'm sure this isn't um, news to both of you that have been transferred to the new branch um, to be general manager. And by so doing, um, I'll be leaving this office vacant. Um, wherein um, we'll be needing someone to sit as a um, branch manager. And I must say, um, the both of you are qualified for that post. And I'm hoping and praying that um, the best man, in your case, the best woman wins. You see, I must commend the both of you for your work ethics. I want to appreciate you both for cooperating, for contributing, and for making work a lot easier for me here. So, um, let me say congratulations to both of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So you just um, sit back uh, and wait to know who would you know be replacing me here. But for now, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And congratulations, sir. Come on, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That will be all for now, please. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Good morning, Miss Genevieve. What's that smell? What smell, madam? Wait. Did you take a shower this morning? Yes, ma'am. Did you brush? Oh my god, you stink! I don't know why they employed you to this office to be cleaning, because obviously you would use your bad smell to, to spoil everywhere. This should be the last time you ever open your stinking mouth to greet me in this office. I'm sorry, madam. Please. Genevieve, yeah? about this branch manager seats that we vacant, what do you think about it? <laughs> you know, I'm so ready to occupy that position because I'm the perfect candidate for it. <laughs> I also think I qualify for the seat too. Please don't even go there. Can't you see I'm bigger than you in every aspect in this office? Like, look at my table. It's way bigger than yours. You don't even look it. Honestly, for me, I don't even care who wins. If I win, I'm happy. If you do, I'm also happy for you. It's a win-win for all of us. Whatever. Just suit yourself, please. I just know I'll be the one that will be occupying the position. Because do you know how much I've been admiring that seat? Like, for me I can't... too. <laughs> Please, just stop saying me to me too. But I've honestly been admiring the seat too. I really, really would love it to be me. But if it's also you, I don't mind. Look, I can't wait to sit on that chair and spin around. <laughs> you don't even want to know. Stephanie, my darling, you are looking at the new branch manager in this office. <laughs> Keep clapping. I can't argue with you, Genevieve, <laughs> honestly. Oh my God. Mr. George, why are you cleaning by this time of the day? Good morning, ma. Good morning. I already mopped earlier, but Miss Genevieve here asked me to mop all over again. Don't you ever mention my name again. Sorry, ma. Bring it, don't worry, I'll just clean my side. No, don't worry, madam. Bring it, it's fine. No, no, don't fine. worry, madam. Let me do my job. Okay. Just be careful. Yes, ma'am. What? How dare you? How dare you use that thing to touch me? Genevieve, that thing didn't even get to you. Oh, please, just mind your business. Are you stupid? Huh? What did you do that for? Like I said, mind your business. And you will you go get something and clean up this place? Mr. George, just wait. I think I have some. Let me help you clean up. Leave here! You stink! Just come inside. Just go in. You know, you can go pamper him or bait him. 
because he smells. Don't care. Okay, um, good morning, um, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so um, I'm sure most of you know why we're here. Um, it's basically because um, the company we need in a replacement here. Someone who would fill in as um, branch manager in this branch when I eventually leave to the other branch as general manager. Um, beside me here, we have two wonderful and two amazing ladies, people um, whom I respect a lot. We have um, Miss Genevieve and Miss Stephanie. As you all know, they're the most senior staffs here and definitely either of them will be replacing me here. But um, to do so, I require your help. What we're doing here is um, we'll be voting for um, someone to replace me. That will be more or less a free and a fair way of choosing my replacements. So if you are for Miss Genevieve here, just indicate by raising up your hand, please. Okay? Is that all for Miss Genevieve? Okay, that makes it one, two, and three. Okay, three for Miss Genevieve. Okay, um, thank you very much. Um, for Miss Stephanie, please indicate. For Miss Stephanie, another three. Okay, wow. Whew. This is really difficult. I was scared this was going to happen. Um, okay, guys, so you have the chance to change your mind right now. If you feel like you made the wrong um, decision earlier, this is the time to indicate. So if you want to change your mind for Miss Genevieve or for Miss Stephanie, do that now. <sighs> I'm afraid um, this is really difficult. So we have three each, and um, we need it to be in a way that it will be easy for us. This is a tie, and we can't select my replacement by having a tie. Um, and I'm, I'm neutral here. You know, I can't vote for either of them, trust me. I would have done that. Um, I just feel like both of them deserve this position. So, I don't know. Made it a lot easier. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, Mr. Judge, no, please come in, Mr. Judge. Come in, Mr. Judge. O okay, sir. Sir, there's somebody at the reception. Okay. I, I couldn't find anyone, so I decided to Come and tell you myself. Oh, that's very, very thoughtful of you. It's actually we're having a more like a, a voting um, session going on here. And I'm glad you came in the time you did. Mr. George, um, you happen to be a staff here, though a junior staff. You see, um, we have a tie, you know, selecting who will be branch manager here between Miss Genevieve and Miss Stephanie. You see, I'll be glad if you could help me out selecting someone between um, Miss Genevieve and uh, Miss Stephanie. I'm sorry, sir, but I think I shouldn't be part of this. No, 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 no. I insist. Please feel free. You are a staff here. Yeah? I know you're a junior staff, but I would like you to vote. Just look at them. I'm sure you know them. Um, you see them in the office, you know, every day. Just select one person. Someone you feel um, better fits um, the position here. Feel free, look at them. You know them very well. Miss Genevieve and Miss Stephanie. Jesus. What did you do that for? Like I said, mind your business. Just come inside. Just go in. You know, you can go pamper him or bait him. Sir, I, I would vote for, for Miss Stephanie. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Um, seriously, um, thank you so much, Mr. George. Um, you made this whole process a lot easier. Please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, Miss Stephanie, congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Um, it's well deserved. Um, congrats. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'd like to thank you all for your votes. Uh, you people made this a lot easier. Please don't return to work. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you too. All right. I I'm sure the items were actually the ones you ordered. Yes. 
It's exactly what I ordered. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm coming. Um, honey, never mind. Um, I'll get that. You bought to continue the romance. I don't understand. What do you mean? <laughs> oh my God. I need to rush to the hospital. I need to rush. Oh my God. Oh. Um, my cock is... I need to change. Yeah, thank you, Sandra. You're welcome. Um, Sandra, where is my wife? She actually went out to handle some businesses on your behalf at the office. I see. So, I go blind, and on the day I'm being discharged from the hospital, my wife isn't there to bring me back home. Hmm. I'm so sorry, sir. But if you need anything, I'll be here to help you. I know you would. Don't worry, Sandra, I'm fine for now. Do you need something to drink? No, 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 I'll be okay. Alright, sir. I'll just be in my room. That will be fine. Thank you. Oh, Sandra. I want to thank you all for coming to this meeting at a very short notice. As you all know, my husband was involved in a ghastly accident and he's going to take some time off to recuperate. That means he will be unavailable to run the day-to-day -day activities of this company. As his wife, I want to inform you all that I will be the new acting CEO. Anybody with any objections? Good. I see no hands up. That'll be all for now. You all can go back to your offices. Accountants, please sit down. I need to speak with you. Um, you're the one in charge of the company account, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. I will be sending an account to you this evening. I want you to transfer the sum of $100,000 to that account. And please, no delays. I want it done this evening. I'll send the account to your mail. But, madam, that's a very large amount of money you're asking me to transfer from the company's account. That can only be done with your husband's approval. <laughs> Miss Accountant, let me ask you, how long have you been working for this company? Six years, ma'am. Six years. Small. And don't you think it's going to be so bad for you to get fired just like that? I mean, have you back on the street, hunting for another job. I'm sure you don't want that. So, if you know what is good for you, transfer the money to the account I'm going to send to your email before the day runs out. Okay, 
And who is that? Rick. I thought you'd be asleep by now. You scared me. I didn't see you there. Abigail. You were meant to pick me up from the hospital this morning. And all you did was to leave me there with the maid. I don't know why you're being a baby about this. I would have been there if it wasn't for your office matters. Rick, you've been away for weeks. Who do you think is handling the office work? Please, I don't expect this from you. I am really tired and all I need now is a shower and rest. Abigail! 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 You worked that on me? Look, Abigail, I may be blind, but I'm not stupid. This is the time I need you the most. But all you do is close from work by 3 p.m. and then you set your foot in this house by 9 p.m. You know, with the excuse of you are tired. Abigail, all I would need now is my wife to be around me. So please tell me what is going on. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what is going on? Because I don't understand. All I see here is a nagging blind husband who is not appreciating his wife for doing a lot for this family. Oh, so Abigail, now I am nagging, right? You don't even tell me what happens at the office. You just come back home and you ignore me. And what are you supposed to do if I tell you what is happening in the office? You're blind for crying out loud. Um, don't worry, Abby. Um, I'll get that. Eh, uh, you get what? Have you forgotten you're blind? I may be blind, but I know every inch of this house, even in my sleep. You better go in and rest. I don't want people saying I'm stressing you. I'm fine, okay? Sure, the items were actually the ones you ordered. Yes, it's exactly what I ordered. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm coming. Um, honey, never mind. Um, I'll get that. You bought to continue the romance. Oh, just come in. Welcome. Rick, Rick. Are you still blind or the facade is over? Of course it's over. And I want to thank you honestly for sticking through with me, you know, throughout my plan. So let me guess. The plan worked. <laughs> oh yes, it did. As a matter of fact, Everything played right in front of me. And you see, I now have all the evidence, you know. Now I'm able to clear my doubts. Actually, you came in good time. But how is this possible? I I came to the hospital. The doctor confirmed you're blind. I don't understand. What is happening? I don't expect you to understand. Okay, you know, let me just make it easy for you. You see, I had my doubts about you a long time back. So I came up with a plan. I actually planned the accident with my doctor and my lawyer here. <laughs> you see, and after we we're done with our plan, they told me I wouldn't find anything. It took me exactly one week to realize that everything I was worried about was actually happening. And how you planned to extort all my money. <laughs> Rick. Just calm down. Before you do something you regret, allow the law to take its course. You are right. But first, just get this idiot out of my house. If I do something, I regret.
please, Rick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. Yes. Um. Before I forget, could you help me prepare um those divorce papers and ensure she signs it as soon as possible. And as for you, don't even think you can test me with a lawsuit. Because if you do, I'll have you arrested and put in jail for trying to extort money from me. One last thing. Don't even think you're getting a dime from me. You want Freak, I'm very sorry. Please, please help me beg him, please. Just shut up. Lawyer? Help me, help me beg him, please. On that fateful day, I went to Mr. Henry's office to find out why I had an F in his test. And instead of him to give me a good reason, he asked me to go down with him. At first I refused, but he insisted that he was going to keep failing me if I didn't do it. I had no other choice. I, I just didn't want to disappoint my parents. And after that, I felt very guilty. That is why I brought it to the panel. <laughs> Having heard from both parties, the panel has reached a verdict. Good day, Mr. Henry. Miss Rhoda, what are you doing here at this time? It's late. Well, I got an F in your test, so I'm here to find out how I can make things right. That is simple. Go and study like others and make better grades in your exam. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Henry. I can actually... Hey, come on! What is the meaning of this? You know this is inappropriate. Do you want to get me fired? I think the dean must hear about this. <laughs> okay. Option A is out of the window. I think I need to go for option B. What, what do you mean? What's the meaning of option A, option B? Mr. Harry! Oh, Mr. Harry! Oh, Mr. Harry! Yes, Mr. Harry! Mr. Harry, yes. What, 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 what is this? What kind of setup is this? I, I, what, what, why are you doing this? Now, let's see who the dean is going to believe. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Just the man I want to see. Do take a seat, Mr. Henry. I've just received a disturbing complaint about you, and the evidence is quite compelling. Sir, e evidence? What, what evidence, sir? Is this not the voice I'm hearing on record? S sir, oh, I swear, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Oh, this recording has been doctored to, to, to make me look bad. Yes. Well, you know the drill. There will be a disciplinary board by 12 noon. And you better be there with your proof of innocence. Okay? So you're both dismissed. Does this look like a joke to you? You want to ruin my career, right? Do you know that Miss Rhoda is trying to put me in trouble? I can lose my job and even go to jail for this. Whoa, slow down. You mean same Rhoda? Of course. And how can she possibly set you up? Look, I was working late in my office yesterday, you know, just some desk work before I left. And while I was at it, 
she came into my office and was pestering me to go down with her for her to have better grades. Of course, I declined. And next thing, started throwing up some dramas and tantrums and even proceeded to record it without me knowing. She eventually doctored it and now I find myself in front of the disciplinary board. Wow. You mean she has the nerve to do this to you? Look, I'm as shocked as you are. And trust me, I'm innocent on this. I know you are. Look, I am so sorry this is happening to you. But if you need any help in any way, just let me know. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you later. All right. We all have been summoned to address the issue. Mr. Henry here has been accused of being sexually involved with his students, Ms. Ruda. And the recording we just listened to was brought in as evidence. Mr. Henry, how do you plead? I'm innocent. I was working late at the office and she came in. She told me she failed my test and was offering to get down with me to get better grades, and I declined. Excuse me? Why are you lying? Miss Rhoda, you will not interrupt Mr. Henry. Like I said, I declined, and I asked her to leave my office. But in the process, she started giving off some dramatic behaviors and throwing some tantrums. Unknown to me, she was recording it. And then, she eventually doctored that recording, and which is why I'm here before this panel today. I'm innocent. I didn't touch her. I didn't even go close to her a bit at all. Mr. Henry, do you have any proof to support your claim? Unfortunately, I, I don't have any. I was alone in the office. Ms. Rhoda, this panel would like to hear from you. On that fateful day, I went to Mr. Henry's office to find out why I had an F in his test. And instead of him to give me a good reason, he asked me to go down with him. At first, I refused, but he insisted that he was going to keep failing me if I didn't do it. I had no other choice. I, I just didn't want to disappoint my parents. And after that, I felt very guilty. That is why I brought it to the panel. <laughs> Having heard from both parties, the panel has reached a verdict. This school prides itself on high moral standard. And uh, we are here to serve both the parents and the society. And that is why issues like this will not be easily tolerated. <sighs> Mr. Henry, I am so sorry. You have a very convincing argument, but the evidence against you is quite strong and compelling. We therefore find you guilty of the crime. I am so sorry, Mr. Henry. The school is going to let you go and we are going to be handing you over to the authorities. Just finally dismissed. I'm sorry. There is nothing I could do. Good day, sir. Good day, Rhoda. What are you doing here? It's closing hour already. I found out I had an F in your test. And so? I want you to tell me how I can, you know, make things better. Rhoda, it's very simple. Study hard and you get an excellent result next time. It's that simple. 
So I can I can make you happy. I can do better than studying hard. I mean anything you want. Excuse me. Are you proposing I get down with you? If that's what you say. Brother, you're a student. How are you this messed up? Citizen, your lecturer is not the way to learn. Just study hard and you get a better grade. Then I guess I have to teach you a lesson. Please help me. Please help me. He's trying to force himself on me. Please. Please, I need help. Please. Wow. Seriously. You are recording this. Tell me, what are you going to achieve with this? Let's wait till you hear from the panel. Then you will know what I can achieve with this. Wow. So this is what you did to innocent Mr. Henry. <laughs> Let's just say he got what he deserved. So, Mr. Craig, I guess we'll be seen very soon. <laughs> Based on the evidence and accusation laid against you, Mr. Craig, how do you plead? Not guilty. I have proof. You have proof? Can we have it? This video proves how Ms. Rada came into my office just to seduce me for a better score. I refused and she started making fake recordings of me trying to molest her. And I'm sure that was how she framed innocent Mr. Henry, just as she's trying to do to me now. Before Mr. Henry's hearing, he came to me and he told me everything, but no one believed him. So I installed a camera in my office just in case I walk late at night. You never can tell what these students are up to. Ms. Rhoda, do you have anything to say? I'll take that as a no. Have you considered the evidence that was just brought in? It is very obvious that Mr. Craig here is not guilty of the charges against him. I am very disappointed in you, Ms. Ruda. How could you do this to your lecturer? This case is going to be handed over to the committee, and that also requires the immediate release of Mr. Henry from the custody. Mr. Craig, this panel is very sorry that you fell victim of Ms. Ruda. Thank you. Ms. Ruda, as regards your delinquent behavior, you are hereby expelled from the school with immediate effect. This case is dismissed. Thank you. You need to go. What is wrong with you? Tell me! I'm fed up. I'm fed up of everything. <laughs> Are you still talking? Are you still talking? Talk to me! Are you still the one? You... You're hurting me! I'm sorry! I'm oh, please! Come on. What is wrong with you? Please! Bastard! So, um, what's up, guys? It's really great to be together again. You know, after we all got married, we all got busy. Talking about marriage, I regret getting into one. You need to be a man to correct your wife. No! Come on. That's not correction. That's being cowardice. No man in his right senses lays his hand on a woman. I'm disappointed in both of you. So you mean you don't beat your wife? Of course I don't. Marcus, are you saying your wife doesn't annoy you or get on your nerves? Of course she does. But at the same way, I fall on the guilty side. So tell me, how do you settle it? if not by beating her. 
Look, Jason, beating her is not in my agenda. There are different ways to solve a problem. Men who beat their wives are small men. They are weaklings. No, don't say that. Of course I will. Now, tell me, why would you beat a woman? A woman who is, quote, and unquote, a weaker vessel. Men beat their wives because they know they can get away with it. Now, tell me, what made you hit your wife? If I say it to you, would you hit me? Jason, would you? You only tell me you don't like it. And it will end with a conversation. Look, men only beat their wives because of their manly ego. Well, I believe you will not understand. You know, just thank God for the kind of home you have. We are going through a lot. Being desperate for a happy home doesn't make you hit your wife. You can always nice hanging out with you guys. Can you imagine that guy? Max, we all know that guy is very stupid. Let's enjoy our game. So tell me, how is business? Business is going great. Well. coming from by this time of the night. I've been calling your lines, but you did not pick, neither did you return my calls. And how is that your business? I'm your wife. Oh, thanks for the quick reminder. Okay, I think you need to go in and have a shower. And when do you start instructing me on what to do? No, I mean, it's late. You need to go in. What's wrong with you? Tell me! I'm fed up. I'm fed up of everything. <laughs> Are you still talking? Are you still oh, talking? I'm talking! Are you still talking? You're hurting me! I'm sorry! Oh, please! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Please! Oh. Yes? Who is there? It's Jane from the office. Jane? How can I help you? I came to check up on you if you're fine. You have not been at the office for three days now. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Can I at least come in to say hello? N no, no. Maybe some other time. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, one last thing. I need you to go through some figures with me. Can I at least just pass it to you? your face up. I saw your face. Kate. Rido. Have you eaten? Okay. Where's your kitchen? You need to eat something. That's right. Okay. I'll be back with something nice for you, okay? Honey!
funny. What is it? Didn't you taste this food before bringing it to me? There's less salt in this food. I tasted it and it was really nice. Wait, are you saying I'm lying? No, I didn't say so. Okay, you can just take salt and add to it if you need more salt. Are you really talking to me? No, baby, I'm sorry. Just, I'm tired. I've been working since morning. Please. What happened? I just gave you a test of your own medicine. You know, I've trained so hard for the past one month and I've waited for this day. Although I never wanted this day to come, but neither do I regret my actions. I'm just happy I fulfilled my aim and it's time I leave. I am sorry. I promise I will never hit you again. Please forgive me. Sweetheart, you're not sorry. You're just ashamed that a woman put you to the ground. Have a nice life then. Kate. 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 Please, Kate. Look, you need to understand. Let's. We need to. But Cora. Cora. Stop! Please stop this. Even if you scream, nobody will hear you. Cora, come on. I... Cora, ah. what have you done? Ah, I'm going to get you. Cora. Ah, my eyes. Congratulations, Miss Cora. Thank you very much, sir. You know, this position requires a lot. And um, without any doubt, your qualifications and credentials makes you the right person for the job. Thank you very much, sir. And I promise to put in my best and make sure the company moves forward, sir. That's a good one. As you can see, this company is one of the top level companies in the state. Our sales are enormous, our staff are well behaved, and things are running smoothly. That's partly because I'm the one in charge here. I'm very impressed, sir. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, I would just advise you, you know, create and maintain a good working relationship with myself, you know. Impress me and satisfy me. I surely would do that, sir. Okay, all right. Meet the secretary on your way out. She'll show you to your office. All right, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Take care. Good day, sir. You sent for me, sir? Yes. Have your seat. Okay, sir. Do you remember telling me you were going to impress me and satisfy me? Of course, sir. Of course I remember, sir. <laughs> but you've not made me happy. Sir, you look very much happy to me. See, Cora. What I'm trying to say is... Uh, I'm trying to say... Cora... You know... I just want to make sure that you make that dream come true. Excuse me, sir. Come on, Cora. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Come on, Cora. I need you to just... Make me happy, and I'll make you happy. Excuse me, sir. I never said I was sad. Besides, you are married, and I'm married. Come on, Cora. I know I'm married, but that is at home. In the office here, yeah? I'm single. What? No, sir. I can't do this. Come on, Cora. You're just a marketer, and you know if you do my bidding, I can get you promoted quickly. This goes against my moral conduct, sir. 
And if this is what I have to do to get the promotion, I don't want it. Excuse me. Cora. I would get you. You're not the first. And you won't be the last. Sir, the secretary said he asked to see me after closing hours. I'm done with work now, sir. Have your seat. Okay, sir. Why aren't you accepting my proposal? Like I said before, I can't do it. I'm married. And even if I wasn't married, I can never ever do it. Besides, you're my boss. Stop this, Cora. I promise you, do it and you won't regret it. I can't. Cora, why are you acting stubborn? Do I have to do it the hard way? Lou, you need to understand. Let's, we need to. But Cora, Cora. Sir, please stop this. Even if you scream, nobody will hear you. Cora, come on. I, uh, Cora, what have you done? Ah, I'm going to get you. Cora. Ah, my eyes. Cora. Hi, Cora. Hi, Bella. How are you? I'm fine. So I hear your employee reviews today. Yes. That's nice. So how do you feel about it? Honestly, I can't wait. I'm so happy about it. I've actually put in my best. I've done a lot of work. That's true. You know, you actually work so hard. And I know it's going to come out really nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, my aim is just to meet up and make sure the company grows. That's good. You know, during a friend of mine's employee review, her salary was actually increased. I'm sure yours will be increased as well. Really? Yeah. That would really be nice. <laughs> Cora, I noticed you've been spending so much time at Mr. Holland's office, and I hear you people arguing all the time. I hope there's no problem. It's nothing I can't handle, but there's no problem really. Okay, if you say so. But if you need anyone to talk to, just know I'm here. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, do you mind if I buy you lunch later? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you later then. All right. <laughs> yes. Good day, sir. Now, Cora, tell me, what is good about the day? What is who you are, Cora? I am highly disappointed. Sir, I don't understand what's going on. I never expected you to admit. Cora, I thought today was going to be a special day for you. But now I've seen the kind of person you are. You are a cheat and a liar. Sir, what is going on? Just shut up, Cora. Look, look. For how long do you think this is going to continue? Oh, you think I'm not aware of your plans to siphon the company's money into your personal account? Sammy? I can never do that. Where's all this coming from? I will tell you. Cora, your plans have failed. You see, I want to really appreciate Mr. Holland here. Who brought everything to the open. If it wasn't for him, only God knows how much you'd have left with. Look, Cora, the earlier you admit, the better for you. Sir, there has to be a mix-up somewhere. I can never do that, sir. The only mix-up here is you trying to deny everything. You know what? You just hold on. I think you're smart. 
Yes, hello. Yes, please send her in. Thank you very much. Now I know you are a wolf in sheep's clothing. Just hold on. You just hold on. Oh, good. Please come right in. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon, Bella. Bella, um, Cora here is trying to deny everything. So I want you to repeat everything you said earlier. Cora, why are you lying? Have you forgotten you came to me and you told me to join forces with you so you can siphon some funds from the company's account to yours? Sir, I can never do that. That's, that's a lie. Can you, just, can you just shut up, please? Bella, thank you very much. Please leave. Bella, I thought we were friends. I can never do that. Um, you know what, Cora? I think I have had enough. It annoys me that you still deny everything. Please, you have to believe me. That was a lie. I would never do that. Cora, you can't deceive me with your crocodile tears. You know what? Effective immediately, Cora. You've been fired. Sir! Get up and leave my office. Wait, 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 please, 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 sir. You have to believe me. Cora, I said leave my office. Oh, please. Leave! Maybe you want me to call security. God! Mr. Holland, I never knew we hired a criminal. Oh my God! Hello, ma. Oh. Okay, ma. Mr. Holland, the CEO is ready to see you. Oh, okay. I can go in? Yes, sir. Okay. It's the first door to your right. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You can sit. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. Please let me call you back. Sure, sure, sure. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Cora? I don't understand. Are you the CEO here? Of course I am. <laughs> of course. I know this is a shock to you. <laughs> After I got fired about a year ago, I saw a job vacancy somewhere. I applied. Luckily for me, I was employed. You know, with my hard work, diligence, and consistency. I got promoted almost immediately. Fast forward to today, I am the CEO. So what about you? Um, I can see here that you're applying for the head of customer care representative. But you used to be the manager at the former company. What happened? Um, you see, I, 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 I actually, I, 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 I got caught trying to harass in a newly employed lady at the other company, and I was fired for it. Wow. I, I've, I've tried applying for other jobs at other companies too, but it's been hard because they've at each point requested for a reference letter. And given what happened at the other company, I, I couldn't get one. <laughs> Cora, I'm sorry. Uh, Mrs. Cora, please. I've suffered a lot. I, I, I really need this job.
It's sad. And I must honestly say, I understand how you feel right now. I really do. Thank you. Mr. Holland. You see, the position you're applying for requires you meeting a lot of people on a daily basis, especially women. People who come here seeking assistance. And I don't want you making passes at any woman who comes here seeking assistance. Madam, I, I am a changed man. I can assure you, no, nothing of such would happen. Please, I need this job. I'm changed. Mr. Holland, I understand that you're a changed person. But I can't put this company's image at risk. And I wouldn't even want any woman to experience what I experienced in the past. Please, I can assure you, I am 100% changed. Please. Mr. Holland. Please. Mr. Holland. It's easier said than done. I'm looking at your track record and I have experience with you too. And I honestly feel like you're just saying all this because you really need this job. No. <laughs> Mr. Holland, I'm sorry, but I can't hire you. I wish you success in your future endeavors, honestly. But now you have to leave my office. Please. Madam, please. Mr. Holland, please leave my office. Please, help me. Leave my office! Excuse me, sir. Sir, what was that for? What did I do? You, you literally just harassed me. What? Is that what you guys do here? You lie and try to implicate customers. Can you imagine this useless thing trying to insult me? Do you know who I am? But, sir. Th Shut up! I want to see your manager at this instant. So I'm really sorry about the whole thing. Forget I said anything. Forget about the accusations. I'll just go. So I'm sorry. Get me your manager now. So I'm very sorry. Please. I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry, sir. Are you stupid? Are you crazy? I said I want to see your manager. So I can't afford to lose my job. Please. Please talk to him. I am sorry. I can't interfere. Your manager. Please. Yes, come in. Well done, ma'am. You called for me. Yes, Mr. Dorian. I called for you. Sit. Sorry, give me a minute. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Mr. Dorian, I want to say that you have been doing a very great job supervising all of our restaurants. Thank you, ma'am. Managing the staff, making sure they are up to date, making sure they are of good behavior and all of that. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is something that has never happened before. Okay. So the CEO wants you to head the Waterhouse restaurant. Really? Yes, really. The Waterhouse restaurant? Exactly. That's our biggest branch. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, I don't know how to react right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. It's OK, Mr. Dorian. So, but first, you are going to go there as an undercover. Meaning you are going to go there to make sure that you get all the staff's behavior, give us updates if they are, how do they work, how do they treat staff, how do they treat themselves, how do they treat customers, and also if there's anything you would like us to change. All right, all right. I'll get that done. And I promise to make you proud. <laughs> Mr. Dorian, the only way to make me proud is by making the CEO proud. Well, you know no one has ever met the CEO, so. Yes, but our works are always acknowledged. It's just the way they have decided to acknowledge you with this promotion. 
thank you so much for this. I am grateful. And thank you to the CEO for giving me this opportunity. You're welcome, Mr. Dorian. Can I take my leave now? Yeah, sure. That'll be all. We can go. Thank you. Thank you. Clark, do you know why we are here today? No, sir. We are here in disguise. I'm going to be the new manager of this restaurant soon. So, I'm here to check the employees, see if they are doing well, and see if they can serve me properly. I'm going to sack anyone that messes up. I get it now. So that's the reason why we are disguised as a normal customer. Yes. So let's get started. Call the waiters, order anything. Waiter! Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Waterhouse Restaurant. Please, how may I help you today? Good afternoon. You can help me with a lot, but for now, I need a bottle of water. Okay, sir. What's your name? My name is Ashley, sir. Beautiful and sexy Ashley. Sir, please, what about you? What do you care for? Uh, no, just... Okay, sir, I'll be right back, sir. your menu? It's on the table, sir. Um, could you help me come check this out? My eyes aren't too sharp. Sir, you didn't come with your glasses. No, I didn't. And that's why I want you to be my eyes. Okay, sir. Yes, fast. Excuse me, sir. Sir, what was that for? What did I do? You, you literally just harassed me. What? Is that what you guys do here? You lie and try to implicate customers. Can you imagine this useless thing trying to insult me? Do you know who I am? But, sir... Shut up! I want to see your manager at this instant. So I'm really sorry about the whole thing. Forget I said anything. Forget about the accusations. I'll just go, so I'm sorry. Get me your manager now. So I'm very sorry. Please, I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry, sir. Are you stupid? Are you crazy? I said I want to see your manager. So I can't afford to lose my job. Please, please talk to him. I am sorry. I can't interfere. Your manager. Please. But, sir, she didn't do anything. You touched her. I know I touched her. But the thing is, I am checking for two things. I'm checking if the employees can work here and work with me personally to satisfy me. When I've cleared that doubt, if I see they can't do that, I fire them and I bring those who can. After I do that, we can go. What? Sir? Okay, sir. Good day, sir. Ashley said you want to see me. Is that all she told you? She didn't tell you how rude she was, and now she's trying to frame me for something I didn't do. 
Let me tell you something. Today, she's getting fired. Ashley, what happened? Ma, he requested to see the menu and asked me to come close to him to help him read it out. While we were at it, he touched me and I was uncomfortable. I called him out on it. And that's the reason he requested to see you. Please, Ma, I don't want to lose my job. Just consider... Um, Ashley, I really don't know if you're saying the truth, but I'm sure you know our customers come first here. And this customer here is laying a complaint against you. He also wants you to get fired. I really don't have any other option than to let you go. Please, Ma. Ashley, the best I can do for you is take it up to the HR. And I'm sure you know the decision they are going to take too. I really don't have any other option. If I'm going to get fired for making a customer uncomfortable, please, I urge you to take a look at the CCTV camera and see what I'm talking about. If you want me fired, then I'll go. I... I almost forgot there's a CCTV camera here. Sir, I... I will urge you to give me some time to go look at the camera and I'll get back to you. That's disrespectful. Are you saying I'm a liar? Sir, I'm not saying that. I will urge you to just remain calm. You laid an accusation against her and I really need to find out the truth. I'll be right back, sir. Suit yourself. Sir, I just checked the footage and everything she said is true. It's obvious you were the one that tried to harass her. And that is not acceptable, sir. What? It seems I should reveal myself. I will let you know that I'm not an ordinary customer here. My name is Mr. Dorian James, and I am going to be the new manager of this establishment. And I'm telling you right now, the two of you just messed up because you're getting fired. Sir. I've actually heard about you that you're going to be managing us. Sir, I'm very sorry. I don't want to lose my job. I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't know you were the one. Miss Nicole, don't panic. It's okay. Why are you saying it's okay? You just heard him. We just lost our job and you're saying it's okay. I, I hope you know this is the best paid restaurant in town. I really don't want to lose my job. I'm not just a waiter. I resumed here to test Mr. Dorian. Mr. Dorian, do you remember what Miss Teresa said? She said you'll be coming here to do an undercover job. But you're not the one doing the undercover job. I am the one doing the undercover job. You are trying to imitate me because I said I'm undercover. Well, that's my ID card. I am the new manager of this place. If you try to mess around me, I'm going to ruin your life so bad. My name is Ashley Williams, the daughter of Mr. Williams, the CEO of this restaurant. What? what? That's my ID card. Mr. Clark here, your junior colleague, is in on everything. He's also involved in the test. Clark, you, Ma, you're here also. Of course I'm here because we are all in this together. <laughs> this was just a test to see if you have a good working ethics, Mr. Dorian have seen and I've heard how you harass all the staff that works under you. 
I just wanted to see if this is going to be a problem or it's going to be a very good idea. But thank you for proving who you are. You can no longer work in this company. Mr. Dorian, you are relieved of your duty. P please don't do that. I'm sorry. Ma, it's so good to finally meet you in person. Please, please. Manager, you may be losing your job, but it's definitely not going to be today. Thank you, Ma. See you. After you. Clock! Clock! Oh my God! What is this rubbish? How low can you be? Why did you spit on me? Oh, do you know how much this dress costs? Oh, I'll just spare you the details. But let me tell you the amount I got it for. Because I'm sure you've never had such in your life. I got it for $10,000. So don't you dare do that again. I noticed you left the office. Do you want me to bring your drink for you? Oh yes, please. I don't mind. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Lisa! Greg! Oh my god! Is this you? Yeah, it's me! Lisa, how oh, are you? Oh, please stop it. I don't shake low life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. So what are you doing here? Oh, I came here because of this car. See, I really like this car. That's why I'm here, admiring it. <laughs> of course. You're here to admire the car. Because that is the only thing you ever do. Admire, admire. You will never buy. Well, it's fine. Um, what about you? What are you here for? Oh, that's a dumb question, but I'm going to answer you. I'm here to purchase the car. This? Yes, of course. And let me tell you something about this car. It's an abstract. It is very unique. It has more beautiful things in it, but from the outside, you will think it's very simple. That's the reason why I want to buy it. Exactly why I love this car. Of course, I know you love the car. But the bad thing is, you can't afford it because you are too low for the car. You don't have money. I'm wondering why they allowed you into this place and why you're standing very close to this expensive car. Oh, come on. Is that right? How has life been with you? Great. Life has been so good. Like, so, so good. And guess what? I'm a doctor now. Doctor? Yes. I just received my doctorate in accounting from Stanfield. Wow. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what about you? What university do you attend? Well, I couldn't afford my university tuition fee, so I dropped out. Oh, <laughs> I never expected anything less. You know, my thesis in corporate accounting was published immediately I finished my doctorate. And guess what? Mossy Box Financial hired me immediately and they pay me a lot. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Greg. Um, let me guess. You don't have a degree, right? So what do you do? Oh, a sales boy. Because that's, that's the only thing you can do without a degree. I'm sure they pay me a lot that can feed you for the rest of your life. <laughs> there you go, sir. Thank you. Miss, do you care for some? Don't you dare call me miss. I am a doctor, so address me as doctor. And I don't know why you're serving this low life a drink. Someone that just came here to admire a car. Just go, you can get me something. Okay, doctor. Oh my God. What kind of drink is this? 
It tastes really good. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I'm laughing. You want to tell me you don't know the Glen Brandy? This is the best brandy in town and it's well celebrated by everyone. Oh, silly me. I'm sure you've never tasted it. It's not for idiots and low bragged people. Oh my God! What is this rubbish? How low can you be? Why did you just spit on me? Oh, do you know how much this dress costs? Oh, I'll just pay you the details. But let me tell you the amount I got it for. Because I'm sure you've never had such in your life. I got it for $10,000. So don't you dare do that again. Lisa, I, I am sorry. Sorry for your stinky poor self. What's the meaning of this? Why is this attendance? Oh my God. Why is this attendance? Please just come and tell me the price of this car. Let me buy it and live here. Can't deal with such low life. Oh. Attendant! Attendant, where are you? Here you go, ma. Thank you. So tell me, how much does this car cost? Oh, Mr. Greg here already asked for the price and I think he's ready to buy it. What? Greg? You asked for the price of this car? Something you can't afford? Oh, you crack me up. I mean, what did you do that for? I just wanted to know the price. You just wanted to know the price when you can't afford it. Come on, that's an insult. Don't try it next time because you might probably end up in jail. It's fine. Grace, you can tell her the price. And if she's interested to buy it, no problem. Okay, sir. Ma, this car costs hundred thousand dollars. What? Hundred thousand dollars? Isn't that too much? That that's a lot of money. Um, is there no discount? Because there's absolutely no way I can afford a hundred thousand dollars. No, ma, it's a fixed price, no discounts. Mr. Greg, are you still interested in buying the car for your daughter? Yes. Okay, sir. Let me get you the invoice. Your daughter? How is that even possible? Well, I am the CEO of Rainbow Laundry Services. CEO? But you're not even a graduate, so how come? Remember my father used to be our school janitor? Yes. Well, he had a small laundry business. And after school, I couldn't afford my tuition fee, so I had to take over from him. Well, the business grew and became what it is today. Oh, wow. That's, that's actually nice. Mr. Greg? Oh my God, Mr. Greg! How are you? I'm fine. How are you? It's so good to see you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Lisa, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to check on someone. Oh, okay. Mr. Greg, so nice to see you. What are you doing here? Well, I came to get a car for my daughter. Your daughter? The small one, she's all grown now. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. Mr. Greg, meet Lisa. Lisa, meet Mr. Greg. Mr. Greg, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I, I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much. Come on, Jenny, don't mention. You know, that's a long time ago. Yeah, I know. Lisa, Mr. Greg here was the one who helped me start up the company that I run and that you work for. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mr. Greg, I need to leave now. I came to pick up something from here. I'll see some other time, okay? No problem. All right, take care. I'll catch you in the office. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Sir, please, are you making payments now or later? Yes, I will pay now. Okay, please sign here, then let's go to the office. Okay. Follow me, please. Yes, sir. I will see some other time. Ma'am, you shouldn't talk to him like that. He's a customer and he has been here for long. Are you stupid? It looks like you don't like your job anymore, right? I'm just saying, it's not fair. Will you just shut up? Are you trying to say I should allow this pauper to cut his hair before Mr. Simon? You know what? You're fired. What? Ma'am. Get out! Who is 
is next? Okay, he's going first, then ha, huh, then I'm going last. Oh, thank you so much. I lost count. I wasn't concentrating. No problem, it's fine. I think it's my turn, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Yeah, how you all doing? So I'll just... Please see the next person. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm sorry, sir. Which side do you want? I would like feed. Feed. You just came in and I've been here for a couple of hours now. I'm sorry, you have to wait for your turn. Wait, I'm sorry. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm sorry, sir. I I don't know you. We haven't met before. Oh, really? You don't know me? <laughs> um, Martha? Yes, sir. Just how long have you been working here? Almost two years, sir. Could you please tell that thing who I am? I'm very sorry, sir. But this is Mr. Simon, our very top customer. He's very wealthy and respected. Please, let him have his hair cut. Immediately he's done, I will attend to you. And you don't even have to pay a dime. But that's unfair. Look, I I've been here for hours. Now it's my turn, you're asking me to wait. Please, sir. No, Martha. This is unfair and totally unacceptable. Please, Martha, why are you begging him? You should keep quiet. You see, I don't know why poor people keep making too much noise. Don't beg him anymore. Martha, I think this is unfair. This man has been waiting here for hours and you are here babbling on another person. What do you mean, Jack? Don't you know who Mr. Simon is? Of course I do. But we do not have a VIP section. So we have to treat everyone equally. Okay. Well, I would like to see the manager. I really don't think there's a need for that. Sir, if you want to see the manager, I'll get you the manager. Please get me the manager. <laughs> Good day. Jack said you want to see me. Yes, I requested to see you, ma'am. Okay, so what is the problem? Okay, now the problem is, when I got here, I met two customers here. I waited my turn. Now it's my turn to have my hair cut. And Martha here insists Mr. Simons goes first. I want to understand why he should go first. And as the manager, I believe you know the right thing to do. Yes, I am the manager here and as you rightly said, I know the right thing to do. Thank you. I thought as much. <laughs> so the right thing to do is that, is to allow Mr. Simon have his hair cut before yours. But I, I... Excuse me. I mean, look at you. Don't you know how to recognize riches when you see one? Mr. Simon here is one of our respected customers. And he has one of the biggest stores in town. So I suggest you just sit down and wait for him. Ma'am, you shouldn't talk to him like that. He's a customer and he has been here for long. Are you stupid? It looks like you don't like your job anymore, right? I'm just saying, it's not fair. Will you just shut up? Are you trying to say I should allow this pauper to cut his hair before Mr. Simon? You know what? You're fired. What? Ma'am. Get out! You know what? If I'm getting fired for doing the right thing, I'll gladly lose the job. He, he, he talks too much. He talks too much. Please continue. Please wait. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier. And what am I supposed to do with your introduction? I am sure you were told this salon is under a new management as at two weeks ago. And how is that supposed to be your problem? Well, my name is Mr. Samuel Stone and this salon belongs to me, among other businesses that I own. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you. No, 
You don't need all that right now. Don't be all soft and nice to me. Well, the truth is, I was worried about the staffs working with the previous owner. So I decided to come in here and see things for myself because I didn't want anyone losing their jobs. So I decided to come in here as a normal customer and have a haircut. But I'm glad. I finally know how things are being run here. Yes, some people will be fired today, but definitely not Mr. Jack. So Mata, I would like you to drop the apron and take your personal belongings and leave the salon because you're fired. Mata, you are fired. Please leave. And as for you, Barbara, effective immediately, you've been relieved of your position as a manager in this salon. You're fired. I'm very sorry, sir. Miss Barbara, go in there, clear your decks, and leave. What are you still doing here? And as for you, Mr. Simon, would you wait your turn or you leave? Sir, I would gladly wait my turn. I'm not in a hurry anymore. I would gladly. Please help me with this, please. Thank you. Um, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. I meant no harm. I'm so sorry. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. How dare you touch my cup of coffee and start cleaning without taking permission from me? My ask for permission. Are you are you stupid? I'm sorry. What ask for permission? Welcome to enemy capitals. Are you greeting me? Still on your filthy seat. I'm sorry, ma. Can I get a cup of coffee? Sure, ma. Hello? <coughs> Yes, please bring a cup of coffee to the reception right now. Please make it quick. Yes, thank you. And what did you just do? No, tell me, what did you just do? I just called the errand girl to get a cup of coffee, ma. So you cannot go yourself? Who do you even think you are? Ma, I can't leave this place in case any other guests come in. Who cares? Do you know who I am? No, do you know who I am? Of course you don't. I'm going to tell you who I am, what it's going to cost you. I am... Good day, Miss Sally Baker. Oh, good day. Um, I heard your voice from my office. Is there anything the issue with you? Um, Mr. What's your name? Greg. Oh, Mr. Greg. Okay, at first I said I was going to come to the office, attend the board meeting, meet the staffs and leave. But no more. What is the name of this beautiful young lady here? Oh, this is Helen, our young and brightest staff. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> but Helen just lost her job. Uh, may I know why, ma? Are you questioning me? No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry about that, ma. Sorry about that, ma. Apparently, you own the biggest share in the company, ma. That's her. Sir, please, I'm sorry. Ma, please, I'm so sorry. Please take me to the board. Okay. Um, Helen. I'm very sorry, but you have Would to... Would you? Please evacuate your things, please. Sorry, this way. So sorry. Mm -hmm. 
need you to vacate that seat now. Excuse me. There are other vacant seats you can have one day. I need you to leave this seat now. <sighs> Good. Okay, so we can start now. Okay, uh, thank you everyone for coming for this quarterly report. It's a report for the top shareholders and executive as myself. Um, just to say that we've been in profit in the last quarter and the new product we are testing has undergone positive reviews. I just want you to say that we are in good hands and everything is going on fine. Before each and every one of us here is our quarterly report, kindly go through and if there are any questions, I will be ready to take them. Thank you. I have a question. Please go ahead. Why wasn't I recognized when I walked in here? As the highest shareholder, I demand to be recognized. I don't even have the copy of the quarterly report. I'm well, sorry about that, but... Every member of the board knows themselves here, yeah, and we are short for time, so we decided to skip the introduction. And who are you to make that decision? It was a unanimous decision, not of my own self. As the higher shareholder, I demand that you be fired immediately. You don't have the power to do that. To fire an executive as myself, the head of operations, you need the vote of the board to be able to do that. Good. Simple. If you want the head of operations to keep his office, kindly raise your hands. Fine. Now, if you want the head of operations to be fired immediately, raise your hands. Perfect. As the highest shareholder of this company, I hold 40% of this company's shares. And Ms. Betty here holds 11% of this company's shares. So that makes 51%. Does anybody beat that? So the number of shares now determines that you, head of operations, you're fired with immediate effect. So I need you to leave this room, head to your office, clear your decks, and leave this company immediately. It was an honor serving with you all. I will take my leave immediately. Thank you. So, who is next in line to Mr. What is his name again? James. I think that would be Nima. You are now the new head of operations. Please take over. Th thank you, Ma. Thank you, everyone. Um, okay. Um, like we all know, the quarterly report has been shared amongst us. Oh, sorry. S sorry, Ma. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Ma. Um, um, just in case you have any question, I think I might be able to answer the question. No questions. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, ma. I see you know how to greet. Get me coffee. Okay, ma. Thank you. What's the name? I'm Jisfinma. 
Okay, just think you can continue your job. Thank you, ma. Um, Mr. Collins, good morning. Good morning. Oh my God, such a mess. Oh my. Ma, let me call the cleaner to clean it. Yes, please do. Thank you, sorry. Such a mess. Please hurry up. Hello? Um, kids, please, can you come to the reception? There's a mess, please. Seriously. Sorry, Ma. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Hurry up and stop walking slowly like a snail. Sorry, Ma, please, can I? So I was saying, you could buy stuff like that from the market without anybody knowing it was... Sorry, I'll, I'll call you... How? I'll call you back, Margaret. How dare you? How dare you touch my cup of coffee and start cleaning without taking permission from me? Ma, I ask for permission. Are you, are you stupid? Ma, I'm sorry, but ask for permission. Okay. So now you call me a liar. So you're actually calling me a liar. Okay, I don't understand what's going on in this office. What's going on? Mr. Greg. Yes, madam. Your cleaner called me a liar. Oh, oh, just him. Then she called me a liar. Answer wisely. She did, ma'am. Excuse me. She asked for permission and you gave her a go ahead. And how did I give her the permission? You nod your head and that was why she cleaned. And who the hell do you think you are to interrupt the conversation? You know what, Mr. Greg? Yes, ma'am. I have had this up to here and I want her fired immediately just like others. Ma, please. Please, oh, oh no, 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 mom, please stop, please me beg her, please, I beg you, please. Kate, Kate, please, oh, please, please, just pack this and leave, please. Huh? Thank you, Kate. Just look at the mess. Sorry about that, madam. Mr. Collins, Miss Sally, please let's go to the board meeting. And why is he going to the board meeting? Oh, he's also a shareholder. I'm sure it's one of the small shareholders we have in here. Welcome everyone. Um, first of all, um, this is Sally, Miss Sally, our highest shareholder. Thank you. So, um, before I proceed, I would have loved to take some announcements, but it's better we take our last quarter report. Um, currently, we have our account balance and every other thing in place. Because we cut down some expenses, where we started training um, our staff to take other positions. Um, we just trained few staff to become securities in the company uh, instead of using all these security agencies, which is really, really expensive. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Firstly, thanks for the recognition. But there is something I really want to discuss with the board. So I was thinking we changed 30% of our current workers. 30%? Yes. I, I believe that would have a serious effect on the company. Training all those new staff to gain productivity and all that. Who cares? Mr. Greg, who cares? Listen, I have a whole list of people I want to employ personally. So I insist we let 30% of the workers go. Okay, ma'am. Um, before we can take that decision, we would like every board member to take a vote. Oh, you already know the outcome. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Um, but we still need to take the vote. Um, please. So please, if we want to fire 30% of the staff, can we please raise your hands? Thank you. 
I told you it was a total waste of time. Um, I'm sorry about that now. There is no need for you to be sorry, Mr. Greg, because you are fired. <laughs> Um, I think this would be the best time to make my announcement. Miss Sally, I am pleased to announce to you that someone else has bought 50% shares of this company and 5% of Miss Betty's shares. What? You sold your shares? Yes, I really needed the money. That's not possible. Who could that be? Is it my dad? Oh, no. No, Miss Sally. Mr. Collins here. Please a round of applause. And right now, Mr. Collins here has 55% of the total shares. Don't you think his opinion is solely important in making this decision? So, Mr. Collins, what do you have to say? Thank you. I feel firing 30% of the staffs is not necessary. And um, for the cleaner that was fired, Mr. Greg, please call her back. And I also heard some other staffs were fired wrongly. Mr. Greg, we look into that after the meeting. Please proceed with the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Thank you very much. I uh, will contact all those uh, uh, staff so they can come back into the position. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It's great, Mom. The apartment is big. I get tired when cleaning up. I need extra hands. Should I hire you and me to help with that? I, yes, Mom. That would be great. Then consider it done. When would you like the maid to resume? Mom, I need the maid like yesterday. Alright. I will speak with the agency and hopefully they should be able to send someone to your place by tomorrow. <sighs> Thank you so much, Mom. You're a lifesaver. That's by the way. I called you online because of something very important. Oh, okay, and what is that? Do you know Senator Frank's daughter who just finished her PhD? No, I don't. Well, she just got back to town and just so happens to be single like you, my son. Oh, I'm, I'm a full-grown man. I can find a girlfriend for myself. Okay, mom. I will. Are you satisfied now? That's my boy. Thank you. You're welcome, mom. Uh, mom, I need to go now. Love you. <sighs> oh, mom. Right. Who is it? Come in, the door is not locked. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Are you Mr. Greg? Yes. My name is Bella. I am the new maid. Oh, you're welcome. I've been expecting you. Um, have a seat here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. All right. So, Bella, basically what I need from you is to clean up the house and do my laundry. Okay, sir. And if you have any other question, you can ask me. Okay. All right. Sir, do you stay here all alone? Oh, yes, I stay alone. No wife, no kids. But since you are here, I won't be staying alone anymore and you also be here. Okay, sir. So the first room by the left is your room. Okay, sir. No worry, just feel at home, okay? Thank you, sir.
Rosa. Your food is ready. Thank you. Bella. Sir. Where is your food? I would have mine in the kitchen, sir. No, no, no. Bring it to the table. But, sir. Bella. It's not a request. Bring it to the table. Okay, sir. See, you're a good cook. You know, I haven't eaten a homemade food as good as this in a very long time. Wow. I'm sure it's high time I stop patronizing all those eateries. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're full of talent. So, what else can you do? Meat stuff. I can cook, I clean, I wash, any other thing you need me to do. Like hack into the central bank. <laughs> Come on, I was just kidding. <laughs> you need to see your face. I thought you were serious. <laughs> All right, but Bella, I don't see you as an ordinary maid. You are too smart for this job. Oh, I must say, life happened. Sir, so, we all have our stories. Care to share? Maybe some other time. No worries, fine. I understand. But I want you to see me as a friend, not just as a boss. Okay? Okay, sir. You're welcome. Um, I want to clear this. Yes, you can. Thank you. Yeah. Sir, do I get you your food now? Not yet. Not until I'm done with this game. You can see I have no friends around. I could beat you if you don't mind losing to a girl. You play Scrabble? Yes. Wow. What can you not do? Anyways, you are no match for me. Do you want to bet on it, sir? Okay. You know what? If you beat me, I will double your salary. Game on, boss. I challenge this. Why? Sir, what's Kami? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I hope I did not bruise your ego, sir. <sighs> On the contrary, you never cease to amaze me. I'm impressed. Don't mind me. I love games. You know you're really special. Your cooking is great. You work so hard. You're intelligent. <laughs> and you're so cute when you laugh. I never thought I would meet a girl that would beat me at the game I love the most. And you know what? As if that's not enough. She's so beautiful. Sir, I need to go get your food. Okay, please. I'm starving. 
Someone just beat the crap out of me. Quick. What are you doing? Finding my place wasn't so hard for you. No, not at all. Is this your maid? Yes, yeah, she is. Take my luggages inside. <sighs> Greg, your place is not so bad. I will take that as a compliment. Come on, you don't have to feel bad. It's just that I'm used to luxury. <laughs> well, not everyone can be a child of a senator. So for now, we are stuck in here together in this not so bad place. <laughs> Come on, babe. For you, I can manage this. All right, uh, let me show you to your room. That'll be fine. I made lunch specially for you. That's nice. I'm sure you enjoy it. Okay. What is it? See for yourself. Up. I'm so sorry. You know what? I'll just order something for us to eat, okay? No, it's fine. I'm not that hungry. Greg, stop. Are you sure? Babe, it's fine, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, how did I mess this up? I had everything rightly. This is my first time of cooking. Where's this girl? Bella! Bella! Come and clear the table. So, Tasha, now that you've gotten your PhD, what's next for you? Tasha? Tasha?
I'm sorry, Ma. I did not mean to. You're sorry? Do you know how much this dress costs? Your wages for five good years cannot buy it! Ma, I'm sorry. I will dry clean it for you. You think this is about you dry cleaning it? What, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Ma, I'm sorry. Sorry, what is going on here? Your low life stinking maid just spilled drink all over my expensive dress. I'm sorry. Shut up! Are you stupid? How dare you talk when I'm talking? Why did you do that? She just apologized. So, because she's sorry, I have to let her go? She's just so clumsy. Can't you see? I don't know where you got this idiot from. What is wrong with you? It's just a dress. Compared to a human life, you really need to stop looking down on people. If she were a senator's daughter, will you hit her like that? Oh well. She is not a senator's daughter. She is just a low life stinking idiot. That is it for me. I think you need to leave. What? Greg! Don't tell me you're taking sides with this low life. You're picking her over me? You don't just get it. You're just a spoiled rich kid who has been spoon fed all her life. You can't even cook to save your own life. But rather, you be glued to your phone, chatting with people far away from you, than have a real conversation with someone sitting next to you. You look down on people who are not in your social class. And it doesn't sit right with me. I'm sorry. But I can't be with someone like you. Oh, I see. You're in love with your maid. You are picking this thing over me? Greg! I don't know what you're talking about. But I'm sure I already asked you to leave. Tell me, how long have you been sleeping with her? Does your mom know about this? You know what? I am done. You can go to hell. You both can go to hell and burn to ashes. Rubbish. Wait! Get out of my way. Stupid girl. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Come. Greg! What has come over you so? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, don't even pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, well, is this about Tasha? Why would you embarrass her like that? Huh? Did you really pick a maid over her? Are you out of your mind? Where is that useless girl, by the way? She's here. Put me on speaker. Okay. I will stop you right there. No one seduced me. I just like Bella and she's not a common maid as you think. Mom, life happened and she dropped out of school. Do you know how intelligent she is? Have you even met her? She makes me happy. Son, you're forgetting one thing. She is a maid. Seriously, mom, were you even listening to what I said? Do you even care about my happiness? Tasha can make you happy. That's impossible. It's funny, mom. Even you and dad had humble beginnings. But I will tell you this. No one should be judged by their social class. Or what they have or they don't have. But their character. I am not after beauty or money. I am choosing someone who is humble and kind. That makes my world come alive. I am sorry if he hurts you. But Bella takes all the boxes for me. Take her away from me, and you no longer have a son. It hasn't come to that. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. If you're sure this is what you want, then it's fine. Okay, mom. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Greg, thank you so much. 
love you. I love you too, brother. Come here.